It just reminds me of the Ocean Gate and how people really thought like those people could have faked their own death and that it wouldn't be unusual for billionaires or rich people to fake their own death. Like people are really thinking this, but this actually happened. This is an American German businessman named Carl Irvine Hobb, and he had disappeared on the Swiss Alps April 7th of 2018 and was clearly not dead. He just wanted to run off with his mistress, this woman here, Veronica Ermolova. He left behind a wife. He left behind 75,000 employees and two adult children and a whole company. Not only did he cost Swiss Alps where he was supposedly skiing and disappeared, lots of money and resources and a six day rescue hunt for him, but he just did not care. He just totally faked his death so he could start a whole new life. Hobb had a Russian passport in addition to a US and German citizenship. And after his apparent death, people started to say things like, why is there unaccounted sums of millions of euros of company funds being transferred to Russia between 2010 to 2015? Mind you, he went missing 2018. He did this beforehand. And it is said to have had business partners, bodyguards, and neighbors and members of his family put under surveillance. Imagine being found alive and your wiki page still says died April 7, 2018. And it just makes me think about how many billionaires could fake their death after we saw Ocean Gate. And just recently I saw another article in the same paper about a lawyer that they said apparently uh, allegedly jumped over a cruise ship to his death. And I'm like, nobody was found. It was done at sea. Like, I think rich people will go through any and every measure to like avoid financial problems, bad business, or just like, like this says, he ran off with his mistress, which I think there's way more to it. I feel like he had some bad business dealings. It says a Tangleman company spokesperson declined to comment. And apparently there was like a hundred thousand dollar euro a finder's fee if you could get a photo of this man. I don't know how they get away with this stuff and, and we never hear anything about it. It's not something that like the news will ever report on all the, the crazy scandalous things these rich people do. I'm glad that he got caught though.